today we are going to start a new problem on a square pyramid so you can see the problem so you have to construct a square pyramid of dimension 35 base head dimension 65 mm axis length okay rest on hp on one of its edges of the base that means we need to construct an uh, a square with respect to the edge here okay so first uh, we are going to draw an uh, xy line here Okay, square of dimension 35 you have to 35 means three and a half box here So here in uh, the slant edges will be thick lines, okay, because these are slant edges. So I can write A, B, C, D, O, and O. And so I can show the dimension here on one side. is 35 okay now projecting okay here axis length is 65 okay 65 take here 65 using the scale here okay the front view of a uh, in pyramid it is in triangle you know it So here B dash visible, A dash not visible, C dash visible, D dash not visible, O1 dash in bracket and O dash. So here we will take base edge inclinations, that is 90 minus angle of inclination to HP it is 45, you can see that, so that is 45 degree, okay here take a reference point of C dash and D dash so using protector we want to mark 45 degree so here angle line so now using compass we have to measure this length from C dash to B dash the first arc second arc from c dash to o dash okay. so you can write here b dash and o dash this is o dash okay now using compass And are from C dash to dash. So you can join it. So we, we have to join here. Okay. So this point we need to join. Okay. And we have this axis so we have to draw an axis here 
so by extending this axis if you measure the angle so that will be exactly 45 degree okay. so this is O dash okay. now projecting the lines vertically downward First, we construct outer boundary line. C to O to D and D to E. So, this forms an outer boundary line. Now, here triangular face B dash, A dash, O dash, triangular face visible from the top. is visible okay now we can see that this uh, square uh, base not visible from the top so that's why it is a dashed line okay then finally we have an axis so I can show you it now angle of inclination to be it is 30 degree I'll draw a parallel line here take a reference point here I will mark 30 degree okay thirty degree so this is what the resting is not visible from the top we'll take this okay so for the angle line we are going to draw uh, angle of inclination line here okay it will be convenient current D point This is C. Okay. Now from C to B. And it will. Next rate is reverse. This point it is moving so from D to O. This is O. Okay, now we will join this lines. This, this is the asset line okay. and finally we have an axis okay, now projecting the lines to consider the final position Okay. 
b dash this point it is c dash and d dash we have this d dash and finally we have this o dash okay the concept for uh, constructing the final position in the pyramid is first we have to construct the uh, base that is here in the base it is in square so first we are constructing a square here okay then we draw the slant ridges say the first slant ridge i am drawing from a dash to o dash next from b dash to o dash third from c dash to o dash you can see that uh, with respect to this base if the slant edge is passing inside of it instead of this square or uh, the base we can see that that will be n dashed line okay. yeah, the dashed line and finally we have an axis so so this is how we complete the problem